A hotfix recently went out for the Master Chief Collection and adds a brand new feature. And a gaming organization who has a very strong ties to Halo has a huge announcement coming in August. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So you might have noticed yesterday on Thursday that we had a little bit of an update when it comes to the MCC. On Steam, it was just a nice little like, you know, few megabyte upload, but on console and also on the Windows Store, it was like a full gigabyte update. So what did they actually change to the MCC to warrant a hotfix? Well, we're going to be covering that in this video. As well as a gaming organization with strong ties to Halo, most likely will have a Halo Infinite team since they're going to have a big announcement coming in August, which I think kind of lends more into our theory right now that there's going to be some some big pro team event coming for Halo Infinite before the release of the game. And I have the info to back up those claims. So if you like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So on the Halo support site, they actually go into some details of what was updated for the July hotfix. Some interesting things that came up. We had three fixes and a brand new feature added in as well. One fix was the issue match made heroic firefight games that caused the difficulty to be set to normal. Fix an issue with matchmaking that made it harder for players in low population regions to find games. So most likely they bumped up the threshold of pings to make it so you can find games. Three fix an issue with some game variants failing to load when connecting in matchmaking this mainly happened for halo combat evolved i never came across this issue but glad to see it being fixed and addressed and the new feature that was added in saying added a report player button to the player details page the rules and processes behind reporting a player are the same as before. They even mentioned a couple of known issues going on with the MCC right now. One of those being the post-game cars report for a match made heroic firefight social match says the session was on normal difficulty, even though it was on heroic difficulty. And the second one being while loading into a match made combat evolved game, the loading screen information is sometimes missing or just incorrect. And for our next story, we have another big announcement coming for the pro scene when it comes to Halo Infinite, but I think this all will tie into a big Halo event coming in later this summer. On Twitter, actually at 3.43 p.m., the organization Infinite put out a statement saying, big things planned this August for Infinite. Now, obviously that could mean whatever, you know, organizations always have like big announcements that they want to make, right? But why do they have to wait until August specifically? And Infinite's been an organization that's had professional Halo teams before. I think they're pretty much strictly known for professional Halo teams. Could this Infinite announcement be the acquisition of this recent team that was created right now? Because Ace, who is a prominent Halo pro, went on the Twitter and said that they put together a squad for Halo Infinite with him, Boo Doo Boo Falcated, and Bound with the coach of Tusk. They just don't have an organization at the moment. And this announcement was made back in the beginning of July. So yeah, that's all great, Kevin. Pro Halo teams, I don't care. I don't watch HCS, blah, 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 blah. But I think this will actually tie into something much larger that we already know that's going to be happening with Halo Infinite later this summer. From the recent HCS development update from Tashi, talking about the team organizations that they wanted to try to accompany within playing Halo Infinite and trying to get more people and more organizations excited for this, they didn't actually announce any teams or organizations with Halo Infinite, which is kind of odd when this vlog is specifically designed about that, because they mentioned later on in this update something really cool is about to happen, stating, it would be pretty lame if we just listed out all of the teams in a blog like this. Don't worry, we and the teams are cooking up some awesome plans to make the announcement. We intend to make a lot of noise when we're ready later this summer. So when I think later this summer, that's like the second half of the summer, right? Which would be like August and towards the end of September as well. And how could HCS make a lot of noise when we have Infinite coming right around the corner? I'm expecting some pre-release like pro tournament kind of thing happening with Halo Infinite. So we get a chance to see Halo Infinite played at a high level before the game is actually released to kind of give us like the full idea of like what can truly be accomplished with the gameplay of Halo Infinite. And across the board, we've been seeing a lot of pro teams start organizing things, getting more players together, making announcements and things like that, because I'm assuming that, you know, with later this summer, making a lot of noise, most likely related to Halo Infinite, probably some kind of live stream event where we get to watch people play Halo Infinite at a high 
high level before the actual release of the game, which would be so awesome. And while we're on the topic of HCS, I wanted to showcase this recent tweet from Tashi because I think it's pretty interesting what's going to be coming up for the next HCS development update because this talks about mouse and keyboard controller awesomeness right here. So this month's HCS blog will detail important information for competitors, what platform you'll be competing on for both online and LAN events, controller versus mouse and keyboard, process at live events, accounts, and more. So this will be releasing next week. And if you guys remember, there's a hard cut division between input-based matchmaking, right? You, mouse and keyboard players can only match mouse and keyboard, controller can only match against controller in ranked modes. So whatever the settings are gonna be using for the competitive side of things, we're probably gonna see that transfer over as well to the more social public side of things as well for the online matchmaking stuff. But don't worry, social matchmaking is completely mixed, no problem. And while we're on the topic for big Halo news coming out next week, we also had this tweet from Unishack talking about the flighting process for Halo Infinite, saying that this month's Inside Infinite is about flighting, and two invites to the Halo Infinite technical preview have not been sent out. Again, you will know when and what is happening beforehand via Inside Infinite. So you make sure you subscribe to the channel guys to catch those news updates when they do go live. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, I got a playlist right here that has all my Halo news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. So thank you so much for watching, greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.